Well, just in the last two hours, we have learned that the feds are investigating Tuesday's runaway rail bulldozer incident in Colony. And remember, this bulldozer found on the tracks there. Brandon Lewis has the update tonight. The rail tracks under Everett Road are often busy, carrying passenger and freight trains. On Tuesday, this bulldozer went down the tracks unmanned and on fire, headed toward where Albany Fire Department says propane is stored. We're dancing with the devil. I mean, if you think about it, it's, it's just one of the things, you know, you, you can do all the comprehensive studies. You can prepare for everything. Um, but human nature takes the best out of us at times. We're standing on the bridge of Everett Road that goes over the railroad tracks. If you look off to the right here, that's where the bulldozer was stopped. And then back over here to the left, just underneath the bridge back there, you can see where that tanker uh, car is. That's where that propane area is, and that's where some county officials are concerned about the fact that they were never notified that this incident ever took place. It's that trust factor, you know, and I have to make sure at the end of the day we're protecting our residents. Last month, County Executive McCoy proposed a law requiring companies to notify county emergency management if any crude oil is spilled. That would also apply if there was a threat of a release. This would be a scenario that they would have to notify us because this is something that had potential of being a lot more worse than what happened. This case again today with the, what happened, and it was a fluke, but this is what we're talking about. You know, where, where was the phone calls? Where was, you know, if they probably stopped that without notifying anybody and someone didn't find out about it, would, would we be talking about it right now? They probably would have, you know, tried to brush it under the carpet, so to speak.